Hey, morning guys on Frequented World. Just picking up John. He's been here a few hours out at the fairgrounds. Don't know if he's got anything, but we're gonna go hit a bush site today. I said he probably found something. Nice! 1912. Look at the shape of that too. Yeah, I know. Okay, maybe I will dig here at some point again. Oh, it's still coming up. You're out. buying coffee, eh? Sure. Here's another one he got worth mentioning today. A 47. That's not bad. The old Canadian nickel. So there you have it, guys. I swore I was never going to dig this this uh, fairgrounds again, but he's still pulling stuff out of here, so I might come back yet. So we've made a little pit stop here. Uh, we do have permission for this spot, and uh, it is on the way where we're going this morning. So we're just going to spend half an hour. It's not a really old site. It's from the 60s. But there, we don't know what was here before, and hey, there could be some silver. So we're going to stop and check it out. You know what, right there, guys, that's good good country living right there. You got the nice fields like that. Well, a bunch of modern change and uh, one old chrome button, which is probably not that old. Just driving an old road here trying to find this uh, 1890s brothel, and uh, there are some signs of homesteads and things here. You can see there's an old stone wall right there. But uh, we're not quite there yet, so... Things are a little bit uh, overgrown since last time John was here, so we're having a bit of a time finding it, but we will. So we found it. It's been a few years since John was here. And uh, so, I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere, guys. Which is why it's here, because back in the day, the lumber camps and that. Men had to go somewhere to spend their money, I guess. So this apparently was a brothel institution of some kind. So we've done a bit of a walk around. It looks like there's lots of junk and stuff around here. And... Uh, Some old, there's an old bottle there. I mean, not that old, but uh, I don't know. We don't know if we're gonna swing this. We're not 100% sure. It's been a couple of years since John had contact. Now he was given full permission, but we, we wanna make things, keep things up to date. And uh, so I'm a little iffy on swinging it, but there's some stuff here. What is this, guys? There's all kinds of stuff lying around out here like that. Lots of junk. I don't know. We don't know if we're going to swing this. We have to decide here. All right, guys, we've moved along to another uh, community center. Um, the morning we're having, I don't even want to get into it. <laughs> but uh, it has not been a kind morning for metal detectorists. Let's put it that way. So we're at a community center and hopefully we can get some digging in here and nobody's going to bother us. There's the first 10 minutes at the uh, community center guys. Metal detecting can tell you a lot about a community. No coins, no other junk, just beer caps. I like this town. Well, half an hour in guys, it's not looking good. This is the first coin I've got. It's an 83 penny and John has a 64 as the oldest. He's got a bit of change but uh, nothing old so far. What is it? I don't know. Is that part of a uh, dinky car or something? I don't know. It's solid. Got some weight to it. Well, kind of a sad outing, guys, when that's my best find of the day. And it's only got three wheels, so... So we've given it an hour here, and... Uh... Nothing old to show of, so we're going to head back to the fairgrounds and finish out the day, the last three hours there. Hopefully we can find something worthy of going in a video, because right now it's pretty poor looking. See those wet spots on the ground behind John? That's a trail of tears. <laughs> Alright John, five bucks on the first silver. Well, not including the one you already dug. <laughs> Starting over. Are you in? I don't know. Hey, this is your field, buddy. 
Look at this. He won't even bet me, and this is his friggin' spot. <laughs> he might have already lost. Maybe I got a silver in my pocket already. Is that what you're afraid of? Yeah. 1941 penny. That's not bad. We're moving in the right direction. Look at the beautiful patina on that. Okay, we got one here. But is it silver? Nope, not silver. Ringing up like crap because it's rusting like crap. That's a modern dime, 2005 or 2006. The date will be under the queen's head. Sorry, what's that? It's a 1900 and I hit it with my shovel. Son of a bitch. Oh, dude. <laughs> Scrape the face right off. <laughs> 19, oh, that is in good shape, eh? I know, other than that shovel mark. All right, I gotta give it to you, John. The field is still producing out here. More modern. 2000 and something. Five. Whew, it's been a long afternoon, guys, without many signals. I got an 88 here. I thought I saw a coin in here. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to look without the f without the phone. Ah, uh, don't tell me false alarm. I thought I saw the edge of a coin. Oh, right there. Okay, where is it in the phone here? Right there. There, look at this, guys. Now, how old is it? Oh, that's old. That's old. That's George. The fifth. I got one. Nice. I don't know the age yet. The date. George the fifth. 1918. Look at that, guys. That makes my day. Nice. Did you get a good one? Got some kind of little pin here. Looks like an apple stem. Maybe a, a worm in an apple. I don't know. <laughs> kind of cool though. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys also on the bottom of the cruiser, John was complaining to me about his like a month ago. And I noticed the mine is starting to get loose too. Right here on the bottom where this where the uh, coil fits into the shaft it's not a solid piece and uh, I don't know how much I can show you but it wobbles it's got a, a wobble to it and mine is getting worse and so is John's so you can see right here where this piece fits in there not secure and not a great design choice uh, by macro we're gonna keep an eye on those because you can see there's a space in between it right there and uh, it wobbles now when I'm swinging it, so not cool. It's a horse. Okay, so you figured it out. It is a horse. <laughs> An apple with a worm. Come on, Dad. <laughs> what were you thinking? That's definitely a horse. <laughs>